Let me tell you something. Uh, what's her name again? Tiffany Stratton? Is that right? Let me look it up real quick. Tiffany Stratton. Hold on, let me make sure here. Hmm. Well, she's about the same age as I am. That's interesting. But anyway, you know, I, I gotta tell you something, Tiffany Stratton. Yeah, eventually you're gonna be an F toy in the day they E. That's all you're gonna be. I can't say the other word. I mean, I can't say the full word, but you know what I mean. Vince McMahon will probably use you. I mean, whether, whether if he actually uses you as an F toy or not, I don't know, but it looks like you're going to be an F toy in the day they eat, including like Liv Morgan and, um, what's her name? Um, Raquel Rodriguez. I'm sorry for saying that, but yeah. Yeah, they're still F toys in the day they eat, especially F toy women. I'm so sorry if that offends you, but guess what? Offending you is my game. Or at least offending you somewhat's my game. To the day they eat women. I need one else. Now I know that song had offensive words in it that I just played. That song was called This Means War, and it was by Busta Rhymes and Ozzy Osbourne, which is interesting. A combo, Busta Rhymes and Ozzy Osbourne. Now let's we'll get to the news. Instead of talking about F-toys in wrestling, especially, where was it? Oh, there she is. I'm, I'm still going to share this. But, I don't know how else to share it. 
And I will prove my point that she's an F toy. You know who who isn't an F toy in wrestling? Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and and maybe Ronda Rousey. Well, half of Ronda Rousey. But anyway, but I still don't like Ronda Rousey because she um. Even though she was a good MMA fighter, she's not a good pro wrestler or sports entertainer or whatever we're calling her. Anyway, Burger King launches new burger. Hold on a minute. Burger King launches new burger rito in New Zealand. Burger King combines a burrito with a burger for the introduction of the new burger rito. In New Zealand, the plant-based, vegetarian, and vegan-friendly burgerito features a crispy patty made from beans, corn, and Mexican spices, topped with fresh lettuce, sliced onions, and tomato, drizzled in habanero salsa and aioli on a pillowy soft bun. While prices may vary, the burrito carries a suggested price of $9.50 New Zealand dollars or about $5.75 US dollars. Hmm. You can find the burrito at participating locations across New Zealand for a limited time. Yeah. Today is June the 5th. You know what's coming up, right? On June the 8th. Yeah, that's right. My birthday on the June, June the 8th. So we got a few more days left. Also. But until then, we need to talk about something else other than my birthday. Like why Tiffany Stratton is an... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Why Tiffany Stratton is an F toy? Just look at her. She is an F toy. There, the end. That's why she's an F toy. Also, Uranus Fudge Factory in General Store, Missouri said they're the mystery to be solved in Uranus. People can't figure out how we pack so much fudge in a day. Yeah, that is a mystery. I I tried that Uranus Fudge Factory Fudge. It's pretty good. Should check them out. You should check them out too. Not spawn. Anyway, uh, key lime pie uh, cocktail all month long at Mardi Gras Casino and Resort, West Virginia. Sip on the flavors of summer all month long at hashtag Mardi Gras Casino WV with our Key Lime Pie Cocktail. Plan your trip and we can't wait to see you.
Yeah, cheese burger in paradise. Sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. I couldn't jam out to the song because I had to take a massive crap. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to jam out to that song. Uh, it changes common to reckless eating. I don't want to know. Heavy D, undefeated Franken. Sons, rival food challenge, I'll eat like a monster in Vegas. Oh, I'll eat like a monster in Vegas with watch. Behind this picture perfect meal, HelloFresh is working hard to protect our planet. We deliver just what you need. What's up, Fat Kid Nation? We're here Fat at Franken City's Pizzeria in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's a weird right green on the outskirts of Vegas, right where it's almost to Henderson. And this is one of the most viral uh, restaurants in all of Las Vegas. TikTok famous Keith Lee came in here and reviewed and chewed their food and gave them solid ass reviews and they went from like basically no foot traffic at all to an overnight success where there were lines out the door of people looking for more of their delicious and nutritious food. Now they got all sorts of wings and things but they have now entered the food challenge game. Now with this food challenge we have 30 minutes to eat and complete this calzone. It's just a normal calzone. It's got spinach, mozzarella, and I believe ricotta cheese, and then one of their Italian subs, nothing crazy big. That is just the challenge. Pretty straightforward here today. It just started the other day. It's the newest food challenge in the city of Lost Wages, and we have 30 minutes to beat this, and if we do, we'll be the first people to beat it. I'm joined by my friend Mark, the shameless one. Check him out on Instagram. He's debating starting a YouTube channel. He is a competitive fitness physique model, so... Let's see if the pretty boy can eat. Boom. What's up, Fat Kid Nation? Thank you for joining on another tasty creation. For those of you that are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And for all you returning subscribers, Give it a thumbs up and let's jump into it. We're out here at Frankenson's Pizzeria in Las Vegas, which is one of the most viral restaurants without a doubt because when Keith Lee came in here and gave him a shout, there were lines for an hour, which you know would make me sour. But now they have a giant food challenge, which brings me here today. Nothing left to say. Can I do it? Let's find out together. jump into my review of this food challenge and everything, I have to say that on this day, history was made. It was the first time in my life I've ever been called skinny. Now, I've gained a little bit of weight back. I used to, at one point I had lost 100 pounds, but I just hated it. I, it was so much work. I didn't like how I felt. I didn't like how I looked. So I put on uh, through a lean bulk, 20, 30 pounds. Some of that was a bad bulk, but now we're back on track. With that being said, I was called skinny by the owner today. It absolutely blew my mind. Yeah. I've never been called skinny. He goes, you skinny guys, I hate you all. You guys always can eat. And I'm like, eh, pretty, pretty strong statement. But uh, no, we're out here today. And Frankincense is a local uh, family-owned business here in Las Vegas. Because of the amount of lines that were posted on TikTok and all the social media, this is my first time actually going here. But I've heard only great things about the food. And I'm going to say, this food was really good. When they told me that the calzone was stacked with mozzarella, spinach, and ricotta, I didn't expect too much strong flavors, because normally those are pretty bland foods, but they take the ricotta and they add garlic and other seasonings to it and really take it up a notch. So it's a very strong yeah. garlicky flavor here today, and I'm excited, because I don't know about y'all, I love garlic. Garlic. 
speaking of garlic, Han, be before you move on, be before you, I got a good one for you about garlic. A long time ago, I wanted to go to the Gilroy Garlic Festival, even though I'm in West Virginia and that's in California, but still. But here's the problem with the Gilroy Garlic Festival now. I don't know if it's still a festival. Gilroy Garlic Festival. Let me make sure it's still a festival. Anyway, yeah, the Gilroy Garlic Festival is one I wanted to go to a long time. It looks like it's still a festival. Yeah, 2023 Gilroy Garlic Festival Association, 43 years of tradition. Yeah, family tradition. Yeah. Uh, events. Yeah, garlic. 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 Garlic! Okay. And, but then one year, I guess, after me saying I wanted to go, even though I, I didn't go actually, but still, one year, the Gilroy Garlic Festival had a had a shooting, and that's why I haven't talked about it really since, or that much since, because of that shooting, if I remember. How you feeling? If I remember right, yeah, that that shooting that happened years ago. Mm. Three people were killed, and there was a mass shooting too. In addition to the gunman, twelve others were injured. Uh, well, well, they should have had metal detectors. Uh, you know, and other stuff. I know metal detectors are expensive, I know. So I know the calzone gets all the hype of this challenge, but the sub sandwich was a silent killer. It was absolutely delicious. I don't know about y'all, but one of my favorite sandwiches back in the day was the days of $5 footlongs that are nowhere to be found anymore was the Italian BMT, Italian BMT from Subway on the Italian herbs and cheese bread. That was like the creme de la creme sub I used to order, and this sandwich is absolutely awesome. Like I said, it's got all those like deli meats that we know that are Italian, like the pepperoni, the ham, the capicola, all of that good stuff. And then they toast it, they get you the pepperoncinis, which add a good little bite to it. Honestly, phenomenal sandwich. Yeah, that is a lot of cheese. I just can't remember when that shooting happened at the Gilroy Garlic Festival, but I mean, I, I still think about sometimes, but I wish it was closer or nearby. Yeah, first winner. Heavy D! Yeah, that's all the guys by Heavy D. But I, which I wish I could say what that meant. But I mean, I have a feeling I know what Heavy D stands for, but but I, I can't say it anymore on here because. YouTube and Facebook probably get on to me. So I had to say heavy, um, the heavy D, the D actually stands for something similar to the word wiener. <laughs> wiener, yeah. Yeah, heavy D-I-S, 
CK, yeah, or at least that's why I hope it stands for. 13 minutes and 11 seconds. Matt Stoney, where you at, buddy? Yeah, where, where you at, at Matt Stoney? At, Matt? Yeah, 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 Matt Stoney. It's like the Chuck Norris of the competitive eating world. Yeah, Chuck so Norris. This one is still having fun. You heard the me, time limit is Chuck Norris. Gone. Uh, the Chuck Norris. A uh, Chuck Norris. Sure. Let's find out together. But this is his third food challenge. He's done the serial killers. He did Dick's Last Resort. Now this Chuck one, Norris is a Chuck Norris. A Chuck Norris. Make sure to give him a follow and stay tuned to the end of the video for important channel updates. And Matt Stoney is the Chuck Norris. A uh, competitive eating at the Chuck Norris's. You know, he looks like every West Virginian nerd I've ever met. So we're the first person he doesn't look like a guy from Las Vegas or, or whatever, Nevada. It was awesome. He looks like, he looks like also a Kentuckian. Yeah, you're going to get lucky in Kentucky. Um, uh, really tasted great. All their food is fresh made. You can really taste that. It's not just that generic like ricotta that we've all had in lasagnas. You know, they seasoned it with garlic. There was some uh, herbs in it. It was awesome, phenomenal. Unfortunately, Shameless One failed. He had about six ounces left when time ran out. There was a lot of cheese. This was truly a cheese challenge. A uh, yeah. local legend, Toro Loco, told me, I must have loved this challenge because there was so much cheese. And no one could bring it to my knees as it did everyone else. Um, it's had a lot of people attempt it. So it's only been out for about a week, and it's had maybe 13 attempts. So... Go check it out. Hopefully they still be about the hundred dollars. Not sure what that looks like. Um, and yeah, hopefully you all tuned in for National Donut Day uh, live stream. Trying to do more live streams. We'll have the Paul I got the notification on, on so that's we'll good. Some dope San Diego content coming your way. Some big burgers. Bird to Coney. And then we're gonna have our quest for Coney Island. Can I get back for the third time? Let's find out. Let's do it. Chew it. I hope you do, but I hope you don't puke again. I remember that. Yeah, they didn't show it, but he did puke, I think, last year. If you're tired of spending a Okay, well that is it my peeps. I'm Bailey Robert Chandler. And I know this was going to be an ad, but guess what? We're not watching the ad. So I'm Bailey Robert Chandler. Sign